Welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike and he's Jay and I said God damn parking lot! What another God damn! What We got one of them early screenings like we were fancy or some shit. Yeah, we almost listened to a fight happen because somebody some bitch was like, I said, I said this guy was like, shh. Finally, someone shut up the loud person in the theater. She was like, I went to Kroger the other day and I thought back they told me my no. medication was six dollars higher well, last time. And some guy was like, shh, shut the fuck up. Your fucking mouth speaks, my brain melts. And she thought, she thought for a second in her stupid little brain, she was like, maybe he wasn't talking to me. So then 10 seconds later, she was like, but then I talked up to the manager and he was like, but then that motherfucker came right back with another, shh. And then she shut the and fuck up. And then somebody said, get out of here with your phone. But it was one of those movies, you saw the preview for it, I was like, it's going to be Jump Scare City. People are probably going to overhype it a little bit. It's a Conjuring type movie. It's one of the movies that we get a lot of and wide release now these days. I did see that it had 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, and I thought, that's weird. That shit's not going to last. Uh, it was a fresh tomato for sure, though, because this fucking movie lived up to the hype. You're right. I was exactly out the same fucking way. fucking nowhere, I, right? The, the trailer scare. I, I mean, jump scares bother me anyway, but this one I thought it was going to have an overabundance of jump scares. There is a lot of jump scares in this, but yeah. it's, it's done in such a way, it's fucking, it goes with the story. It flows with the story correctly. It's, it's milk yeah. chocolate. Yeah, well, oh, I'll say that. Well, 60% of the movie, 60% of the movie, I was sitting there and I kind of felt like I felt when I was watching, just to be honest with you guys, because that's the kind of fucking girl I am. I was like, I, felt, I kind of felt like <laughs> yeah, I did during The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. I was like, this just doesn't, it doesn't scare me the way it seems to be scaring everybody else. It's like, I saw that jump scare. That was pretty good. It was all right. I saw that in the trailer, though. A lot of the stuff in the first 60% of the movies in the trailer. And it was just like a typical James Wan type feeling sort of movie. Just all right. Pretty good. Not fucking Annabelle or the worst thing ever, but just decent. But then all of a sudden, the family drama kicks in, mm -hmm. and it does that. And this is why horror is so hard to make good. It's because you think jump scares, this and that, it's so easy to make happen. But all of a sudden, this storyline happens with this family. And we won't even get into it because it's spoiler free, but this family's got a dark secret. And when the, when the family drama starts coming out, when the mother starts to show her emotional side of things, and, and it starts to get deep, all of a sudden, I was like, holy shit, I give a shit. Well, Next thing you know, I'm scared out of my fucking asshole, and I'm sitting back in my seat like, oh shit, what's going to happen? next uh, the, you gotta draw them in with some real shit man yeah the, uh, the family dynamics is really good in this this is the, yeah. it's for sure as a horror movie goes the acting is top notch like that was one of the things that i noticed right away when i started watching well, i was about 30 minutes into it everybody is really good in their parts mm -hmm. the little boy is kind of annoying he's not really that good but hey he's a little kid i don't give a fuck I about him. him he's all right he's, he's still little a little Haley joel osmond circle no, dude, he's not six cents man no he's not right. oh my god dude yeah, that's, he was. that's like acting that's like mm -hmm. saying fucking emilio estevez is tom hanks yeah he was Emilio! You turn around and who do I see? Emilio! Tips us at. The thing about the creature that is stalking them throughout this thing, she has got, um, it is a she, even the, the thing about her or it, it's it like, looks like, it does, it looks, it reminded me of a creature from Demon Knight. It's like Scott Stapp fucked the Babadook. Yeah, and then, it, no, it didn't even look like, it, to me it looked like, you know remember Demon Knight with Billy Zane, the demons when they came out, <laughs> he was like, Mr. Yeah. Hold Down, goddamn yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. He, it looked like that thing, and there was, there was moments in it that it flowed together like there is a lot of atmospheric horror going on in it, but then at the same time, it's not overdone to the point where it just becomes redundant and boring. Mm. It's got some action elements into it to get you in, pumped as well like when the police officers show up like you've seen that in the trailer that's actually done really well and it reminded me a lot of uh i know people hated it but i like the action sequences in it It was darkness falls like just the action parts of it movie, man. well the action parts of it by the way i'm just gonna let you know that when a woman or a ghost or whatever is scared of the fucking lights just light bright that bitch up you'll make your whole yeah, fucking but house those light you would think it'd be easy but those fucking light bulbs man they're just aren't trustworthy no light bright is that like speaking's bell? No, yeah, like the no, toy. You know, light bright. Fuck that shit. No, man. light bright toys always broke. But no, this is the point I made. Like the, the like, last scene, and someone mentioned in this. Someone said in one of the reviews, they said this movie does for darkness what uh, Halloween. Fuck, I'm sweating. I know. God damn. Shaq. He was like, this movie does for darkness what Halloween did for slashes. And, and I, I, I thought, how dare you even go there? How dare you even compare the greatness that was Halloween to a movie coming out circa 2016? But I gotta tell you guys, and I really can't tell you why. I don't know why. But the last scene involves. It, everything happening in one place and it's right when you give a shit right when you really just fucking drive home the cockles of love and, and family you're fisting you start to, I am fisting it fist the shit you out start of to it. give a shit right then it actually becomes scary and it's not and it's all new and it's all fresh and, and you're like holy shit I actually give a shit and you get really excited because you're like a horror movie is getting me fucking excited you love it but it's all trapped in this one house and maybe that's where this Halloween feel comes from yeah. but I was actually scared shit was hitting the fan and then it hit the fan from the left and then it hit the fan from the right and what reminded me of Halloween with this film, and I still can't for sure say why, is that this bitch, 
this crazy fucking bitch that you saw in the trailer, the lights out bitch, the fucking googly boogly, like I hate those bitches. I hate the herky jerkies. I want to know what you know. I, I want to know more about her. There's some lore. There's some darkness behind her. She's actually got a history that they yeah. don't divulge fully. It's not so simple. Well, you could there's take, some deep shit in there, and I want to know what makes that scary bitch tick. You could t you could take away. I mean, I'm sure that somebody could watch this and then say, well, it's not as deep as you guys are making it out to be because it's obvious that she's a ghost or she's like this. But there is enough left over throughout the movie that you they give you. Way. They give you little clues about it. You're like, well, it's not always exactly as it seems. It's not always like that little Riddler. So yeah, and by the way, she does. I was gonna. I was telling Mike when we were watching this at the theater. I don't like the herky jerky stuff anyway. When they Ooh. move unnatural, why are they always fucking dark haired, greasy haired women that move unnaturally? That's not what you want unless you're really drunk and you're fucking say whatever. I'm down for it. Hey, maybe you want some strange, some Bud weird light. stuff. Uh, I've but, never felt that before. But no, it's she moves like when she comes at you, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. She moves like uh, Jack Sparrow on rum. But the, uh, the sound effects, the audio, yeah. is done in such a way that they crank it down. We kept and turning around thinking someone was in the theater doing some I shit. Know, that's like, I mean. stop fucking creeping. But uh, I went to the bathroom it and it was movie. it was empty in that in the, in the toiletries. And I went in there, and it got me scared, dude, because you could hear your footfalls echoing off the floor, and then the door shuts. And just because of all that's going on in the film, I was thinking, I was like, what if that bitch popped up <laughs> underneath the stall? I mean, I would just shit my pants, right. and that would be okay, because I would just die before, or I would die afterwards, and she'd have to smell it. And then it. Scream 2 happens, and a dick pops out, but then it stabs That's you a in glory the hole. That was one time in Vegas. Yeah, but no, I will say this. The first half of this movie, guys, I was like, generic, typical horror stuff. It's yeah. okay. It's got some good jump scares. It's got me sort of intrigued. But uh, it's, it came up and it karate kicked me in the back of the fucking nuts. Not from the front like you see it coming, but from the back. So it gets that weird angle on your set. You're talking about a dick and, in the butt. And I was just having a fucking entertaining haunted house. Great fucking time with this movie out of nowhere. This is the surprise horror movie of the year for sure. It shocked the shit out of me. I actually give this movie a 9.0 for just what fun. And it actually scared me and it actually had me involved. And I did not see that shit coming from a million fucking miles away. It's I'm, a 9. I'm going to give it a 9 as well. Like I, I could not believe how enjoyable the movie was. And I don't, I mean, I, I love horror movies anyway. Way, but the movies that like I get scared it doesn't matter what it is but this movie actually was a fucking great story yeah. at the same time I liked that the way that it was written in with the end it wasn't trying to be fancy with it or make it seem more than it was it was just like hey I told you a great fucking story now go to fucking bed and dream and nightmare now go the fuck to sleep go home yeah, so, the, I mean, and that's what happened with it. Honestly, it's not the scariest movie I've ever seen in the world. It's not the funnest movie I've ever seen in the world. It's not the most emotional it's or not touching movie I've ever line. seen in the world, but it grabs, it, it grabs from each of those places. I was scared. I was excited. I gave a fuck about the characters. The characters are some good people in this movie. It's yeah. not typical horror bullshit where half of them are assholes and, by the and way, there's one decent hot chick with a nice ass. She Although does that have, does that exist. Does, yeah, that, the way that she kills... Um, this creature monster thing parkour she yeah fuck yes she is she's spider-man on drugs and goddamn crackle beans she's like spider-man like, had sex with macho man randy savage with ooh, bone saw he went further than slim jim he got into that fucking like real <laughs> that's already for this movie guys definitely go see it when it comes out if you're a horror fan you're gonna like it i guarantee it get through the first half of the movie the second half i, I i'm pretty sure you all are gonna enjoy the shit out of this so we love your fucking faces if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button and get some goddamn roll down the window Jay, get some goddamn wire up in you! Oh shit, that was a cop. Take it away.